as a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Over this minute, total up tiempo. Toco los guantes. Touch them up. Good luck. Buenos suerte. Harvey Dock, the referee, his 32nd world title fight. Will it be Shakur Stevenson's third division as a world champion? Or will Edwin De Los Santos and all that confidence ride high and deliver the power that he has shown in the recent past? Perhaps Here we go, Tim. Session. What are we looking for early on? First off, first of all, Shakur is going to have to get used to the speed of De Los Santos. So you're going to see him start slowly. He's going to manage the speed. He's going to figure it out. He's going to figure out his range to be able to to stand close and walk forward like he usually does. You know, Shakur doesn't like to really fight off his back foot. In recent fights, you see him coming forward. So once he gauges the, the distance and he gets his, and he gets the, the dis whoa. And once he gets the, the, the distance right, Quick. Quick. then he's gonna start coming forward and taking it to Dos Santos. Burst of aggression from Edwin De Los Santos. You mentioned the recent fights of Shakur Stevenson where indeed he has shown more power and aggression. It started with the TKO against Jamel Herring and claiming a belt. And then Oscar Valdez, the two division champion, who he dropped in that win. He dominated Rob Robson Conceso, who he just saw in a thriller against Navarrete. And then a six round knockout more recently against Yoshino. So if you notice with Shakur, he, he always moves out in straight lines. You know, every, occasionally he'll turn the corner, but you see, again, he move out in straight lines. No counter there. But De Los Santos, he will, he will get familiarized with that, and I think he'll get aggressive, and he will let combinations fly, and something will eventually land. Well, aggression yes. landing power has to be the answer for De Los Santos. There Can't it is. sit back and let Shakur simply win with his superior skill. But then again, if you're too aggressive, Shakur's ability to get those openings to counter and to find his own success will exist. Yeah, Los Santos is extremely reactive. Short right hand, Shakur answers with a southpaw hook. He tries to answer everything Shakur throws or does. Any movements, any punches he throws, He's going to react with something. There's a body shot, left hand to the body. Again, that's the cutoff punch right there from Shakur. Again, I told you folks at home, they're going to be moving counterclockwise for the majority of this fight. And Shakur will use that backhand to cut off that exit. See, that's where the frustration comes. Shakur steps straight back, then he stops. But he makes his opponents miss. Pretty much makes them shadow box. Statistically, one of the best defensive fighters in the world. Time! Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order mint delivery in the app. At Target, get low prices on lights. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never had someone to show me a love. Show me love. Love like this before. Love like this before. I never knew there was a love like Light up your holidays for less at Target. Yesterday, he thinks it's going to be a chess match early on. Yep. And then eventually, Edwin De Los Santos will be impatient. Did land that left hand to the body, did Shakur, in that first round. Double punches, limited work. Shakur just 6 of 15. De Los Santos is trying to cover ground with his feints. You don't always have to shoot a jab to cover ground. You can use your feints to get your opponent or a man to bag up. 
Shakur doing a great job, again, taking that full step back and stopping any time, any type of attempt from De Los Santos. It was that jab off the hip from Shakur. He was stressing that to us yesterday, Tim, saying he's been working on the jab, not just as a play setter to lead off, but to actually be an effective weapon. Seeing Shakur off the back foot heavy as of right now, that just lets me know that that power is real of Del Santos. De Los Santos. 14 knockouts, two fights ago, a thriller when he TKO'd Jose Valenzuela. Got up off the canvas to do so. When you fight the sniper like De Los Santos, you gotta be patient. You gotta limit your mistakes. And the one that's usually the more technical fighter. There's a left that's hand to the body as he closed the gap. De Los Santos landing to the body against Shakur. Usually has an advantage down the stretch, but I like the aggression from De Los Santos. He has a quick first step test. He does. Quick, explosive. That's where he generates his powder from. Again, closing the distance right there, missing his mark. Now, although he's missing, can he stay mentally intact? Because when you miss shots and you're constantly missing and you can't land on your opponent, it becomes frustrating. Number four opponents land only 13% of their total punches. That's the second fewest in the entire sport. Light heavyweight champ Dimitri Bivol is at 12.4%. That's number one in the world. Fighter said they would. Yep. Does it still count as ending the night with McDonald's? If you order it for breakfast the morning after? I'm ordering either way. Order McDelivery in the app. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. Fans at home seeing that replay, Tim, of the left to the body from De Los Santos, and then just a little use of the forearm on the inside. <laughs> you saw the frustration. A little, rough house, a little rough house tactics. That's what you have to do. I mean, you can't show no respect, especially to a fighter of Shakur's class. You got to take him to a place that he's never been before. And Shakur taking those half steps forward. Shakur's in the ring with someone just as athletic as he is. De Los Santos is athletic. He can move left, right, he can move back, he can move forward, he can move in every direction well, and he can drop a bomb at any moment and explode with offense. Shakur is taking his time. He needs De Los Santos to slow down a bit. Shakur is even having a hard time landing his jab against De Los Santos.
precious moments of downloading range there it and is. now closing that range. And you see moving back in straight lines. Yes, he got off the line, but then De Los Santos followed him up with those short shots. And when I say the line, it's the line of fire. Again, that 50-50 equal positioning. When both guys are standing directly across from each other, I'll call it 6 o'clock. De Los Santos does a good job in following Shakur out. Good jab right there for Shakur. That was a very effective jab by Shakur. Back to it. See, Shakur is disciplined enough to be able to fight this type of fight, deal with the booze. Doesn't he? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to him. He's okay with that. Now, can De Los Santos manage to fight at this pace and not get reckless? So no, there's, there's a moment of reckless of falling exactly. in. Can he stay behind himself and continue to box and find ways to get to Shakur? Let's bring in Bernardo. This whole round, Edwin De Los Santos has been fighting without the mouthpiece. The corner forgot to put it in his mouth. They've been waiting for a lull in the action, but they have not been able to get the attention of referee Harvey Dock, the inspectors, or the corner so far. Yeah, there's no awareness by Harvey Dock or the commission that that's taking place, that De Los Santos is fighting this round without the mouthpiece in. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Black Friday deals you can't miss. I'll show you what happened at the end of the second round when Cello Bentcourt, the trainer of the Los Santos, takes the mouthpiece out and then he's sent out to the third round and there is no mouthpiece. And as Bernardo reported, he fought the entire round without a mouthpiece and Harvey Dock, the referee, never saw it. We can assure you the mouthpiece is in now as we begin round number four. And Shakur Stevenson with a 16 to 8 connect advantage of a fight that is at the pace he thought it would be early on. And then he believes changes somewhere in this range. De Los Santos now is choosing to push Shakur Stevenson to the left. Now he's looking to go clockwise against Shakur. Interesting adjustment right there from him and his team. Trying to close and the gap yes. with a triple jab. Bernardo, what are you hearing from the corner of Edwin? I spoke with Humberto Betancourt and he told me, I know that he's getting too much respect from Shakur, but I don't want him to get desperate. I want him to stay patient because his opportunity to land will come. And the punch that he wanted, that he's looking for is the, the left hand, the backhand. De Los Santos is looking for that shot. Shakur is not giving it to him right now. Santos landing only 12% of his punches. That is right around the average of a typical Shakur fight. As he's able to turn him. Short left hand on the inside. now is just he's willing to fight at this pace he's not willing to commit he knows that De La Santos is looking for that backhand and he doesn't want to run into that 
And again, De Los Santos now getting a little bit reckless right there. You see him miss badly right there. That's what Shakur wants. He wants him to break down mentally. So he's taking his time. He's trying to see how patient De Los Santos is and will he and will be throughout the course of this fight. Gore said there will be the moment where he's impatient, and that fight will really start in the middle rounds. Good jab to the body right there. Sweeping in again. Shakur easily getting out of the way. But Shakur didn't make him pay right there. No, he did not. Now he goes with a left hand to the body. And the four. This is one of the millions of new and used cars you can find on Auto Trader. You can find cars like the ones on your favorite show. Oh no. I bet I can even find the cars in my feed. Sure can. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. Football's in full swing. You ready? QB of the future? Check. Division unlock? Check and check. MVP case? A season that's still anyone. T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Formula One weekend and the back half of our world championship doubleheader. Start of round number five. Mark Regal, how do you have it scored? Four rounds to nothing. Shakur Stevenson. Look, they're, they're not scintillating. I understand the booze. I watched them spar a few weeks ago and I saw something new. I said, I've never seen that yet. You know, his hand was a little bruised, his, his left, and he swears it's perfectly fine now. But he told us he was going to unveil that jab tonight, and it is really, really fast. I thought Timmy made a really interesting point before. Does Delo Santos have the, the mental discipline to tune out the booze? Of course, Stevenson right now landing 31% of his jabs. Keep him up, keep him up. Hands are free, hands are free. Because you want to be aggressive against Shakur. You do. You want to be aggressive. You want to step to him. But at the same time, you want to limit your mistakes at the same time. You, you, if you get reckless, then you leave yourself open. De Los Santos is doing a good job in managing that. However, if I was in this corner right now, I would say, son, step on the gas a little bit more. Take a little bit more risk because Shakur is not countering. He's closing the distance, but Shakur, again, Shakur is not countering. He stepped out of the way right there. He didn't counter not one time. So if I'm De La Santos and I'm in this corner right now, I'm saying, let your hands go. This boy don't want to fight. If there's let your hands back, go. You exactly. Exactly. Take more risks. You have the bigger firepower, and if he does, if he does decide to throw with you, that's good in our favor. Because if the fight stays outside like this, Shakur is going to just—he's just going to bank these rounds, just pick and poke his way to victory, and he's okay with that. Again, stepping back, no counter. There you Body go. shot comes in from De Los Santos. There it is. Following him out that time. Again, going out in straight lines. You can catch up with him. With Shakur. It's going to take some risk involved. But you can catch up to him. Lots of feints right there. And you see Del Santos, De Los Santos right now trying to close the distance. Unfortunately, CompuBox doesn't have a feints landed category. <laughs> and thus the booze you hear. How'd you get that mixed with your combo? These fries and rings. At BKU can build your combo.
Frozen Coke too? Yep, sides and drinks too. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Weekly Black Friday deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. Round number six, earlier this week, Edwin De Los Santos said, Shakur is scared of my power. He's scared of my pressure, and the only way to escape is running. Well, this is what De Los Santos did to make that point in that last round. Gave him that little running twist and turnaround. Here we are in round six, where before the round started, Wally Moses, the trainer and grandfather of Shakur Stevenson, said, all right, now start scoring on this guy and emphasize the jab. Quick, quick. Sit back. Good. De Los Santos is still a hot wire. He's hot. I mean, he's reactive. Look at his look at look at his reflexes. You know, he's seemingly in, in position to be able to throw that, that backhand or that check right hook at any moment. And Shakur knows it, and that's the reason why he's like, I'm not gonna go in there. I'm gonna just keep it outside. I'm gonna just keep dominating you like this, and I'm not gonna take any chances because he's too dang strong still right now in the sixth round. Shakur trying to catch him with that right hook as he came across the threshold. Wow. Did you see that face yes. and that reaction? Yeah. Lord. Give him the shimmy. Woo. Now on the inside. The power's real. The power is real. Definitely has. Shakur Stevenson on edge. a double jab down to the body, but there's no follow-up punches coming from De Los Santos. Good shot right there. See, every now and then, you got to take one to get one. I mean, I understand that this is this is it's boxing, and you're supposed to not get hit. But sometimes you got to stand there and, and and take some, so that way you can land your offense. If I'm De Los Santos again, I'm gonna sell out because if the fight continues to go like this, it's gonna go in Shakur's favor. Yes, you know exactly what the scorecards yes, will read. Absolutely. Target, get low prices on lights. Light up your holidays for less at Target. We've been living it since day one. Glorious, beautiful, true. Nothing held back. All for the love of soccer. is presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone. And in part by Jimmy John's, the sandwich of sandwiches. 
Edwin De Los Santos only landing 13% of his 145 punches thrown as we begin round number seven. Again, as long as this fight is fought at this pace, it's going to favor Shakur Stevenson. He can stay disciplined for the entire 12 rounds. This is De Los Santos' first fight going 12. Yep. His first Watch world title attempt, stepping up to 12 round status for the first time in his career. So, a part of me feels that. The reason why he's not stepping on the gas a little bit more is, is maybe he's thinking about going the distance. When you do it for the first time, that, that tends to happen. You're wondering if you're going to have enough on the back end so you can serve early. Now he comes in more aggressive, double jab, trying to search for the power hand. And he but missed all those punches. Shakur was but, easily getting out of the way. But, Tess, that's what he has to do. And he has to find a way. And don't punch at the head. Hit the body. The head's not going to be there. It's not. Hit the body. Hit the shoulders. Hit something. That jab right now is starting to dominate this round for Shakur. Marching forward again. Looking to inflict more damage. But again, he's extremely cautious. He don't want to get hit by anything. And now he's in total control right now. He has De Los Santos bounce, bouncing. He's getting his rhythm now, Shakur is. Little by little, each round. De Los Santos looks like he's looking to draw in Shakur. But you have to pull the trigger when yes, you do. Yes, absolutely. And again, that step back right there. <laughs> Making his punches fall short. Not even close. Not even close. And this is the frustrating part about facing a guy like Shakur. He can do this all night long. And then when he wants to turn it on, like he's doing now, he can. different Black Friday deals at Target each week. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. Zane now start throwing the combinations. 36 punches landed to this point according to CompuBox. 21 for De Los Santos. A nondescript offensive fight where Shakur has dominated by simply just easily getting out of range of De Los Santos' efforts. Good jab right there from De Los Santos. Now he's taking on the, just a single jab from Shakur. And he's trying to immediately follow him out with the double jab to close the distance. Sit back, sit back. Do it. Sit back. Do it. Bernardo? I just spoke with Walling Moses and I asked him about Shakur's left hand if it was okay and he says yes it's okay I actually want him to throw it more so the offense is coming. 
Yeah, we'll but the, see. But the problem is, if he throws it, you, you, you're exposed. You know, if you miss, you get yourself out of position when you shoot the right cross or the, the left hand, the back hand. Has not thrown many power punches in this fight. He's thrown 93 jabs to this exactly. fight, 25 power punches. Because again, he doesn't feel safe throwing that backhand because they'd have put him out there. Go hit him in the back. Keep him in front. To be counted if he misses. Good jab right there from Shakur. And then again, good defense coming from Shakur. Bella Santos is having a hard time finding a mark because Shakur is not there to be hit. Not much coming back from Shakur either, but at least he's getting that jab working. He's marching forward. Right now, a plus 20, plus minus in this fight for Shakur Stevenson. The gap between his percentage landed compared to De Los Santos against him. And that is exactly what he does in his career, and it's number one in boxing. But his more recent fights have been more entertaining offensively, far more than what we're seeing tonight. Limited power punches, but the steady work with the jab from Shakur Stevenson, Tim. Yeah, interesting enough, I mean, we're talking about the punching power of De La Santos, but at the same time, it seems that De La Santos is actually scared of Shakur Stevenson's punching power because he's not willing to take the necessary risk. He want to come straight back at this. Walk his ass around and get my angle. But this has been the primary punch and the primary weapon for Shakur Stevenson, just dominating this fight as of right now with this jab and again, maintaining distance, staying defensively sound. You know, Shakur doesn't want to take too much risk. Again, De Los Santos is still strong. He still feels his strength. He knows that he can punch. He's felt those punches against his gloves, you know, and he doesn't want to get exposed when he throws that backhand and if he misses and De Los Santos catches him with something and hurts him. As for that backhand, only one left hand is thrown by Shakur Stevenson in the last two rounds. Round number nine, vacant WBC lightweight championship on the line. If Shakur Stevenson is able to win this fight, Good job. then it'll be a three division world championships in just a nine fight span of his career. Nice left hand right there from Shakur. No return fire. Good jab. Ooh, good exchange right there. Starting to heat up a bit. And a right hook once he got to the inside from Shakur. Mark Kriegel. 79, 73, seven rounds to one Shakur Stevenson. Two ways to look at this fight. One, it's uh, boring. <laughs> Two, Shakur Stevenson is beating a really good fighter with just one hand. I really have to wonder what the state of that left hand is because there are openings for it and he's not throwing it and that's not like him. Wally Moses says left hand is fine. I'm encouraging him to throw more of it. But to your point Mark it has been the jab. He has thrown 108. He's landed 32. That's South Ball weapon. And there it is again. So I know some people are going to look at this and say people are already sizing up Shakur Stevenson and, and Tank Davis. 
Tank Davis is a southpaw, explosive, quick first step. Can do a little bit of everything. Vicious one punch knockout power, but again, if you can't land that, how are you going to beat this kid? That's my question. Floyd Mayweather has always showed us that defense wins these championships. Yes, offense will win the fight, but defense is what wins championships. And right now, De Los Santos is struggling landing any kind of offense on Shakur. That was clearly a break from Harvey Dock there. Both of you guys, don't hit him behind the head. Don't hit him behind his head. Both of you. Let's go. You heard the stop. see the sharpness coming from Shakur. I mean, he's fighting like it, like if he's still in his in the first round right now. Still reacting quickly, still getting out of range, and stepping a little bit more on the gas tank. Hey, these are the championship rounds. We have to pressure here. This is a close fight. Listen to me. We got to keep going to the body. You got to make him stand still. Hey, this is the 10th round. We got to start pressuring. Come on, you want to be a champion or what? Come on, you got to press here. You got to go after this. M effort. You have to make this fight. You have to go get him. Well, you get the sense that the alarm clock was set for the beginning of the tenth round, based on that. Right. Of saying you have to pressure here. This is the tenth round. Do you want to be a champion? As if, okay, now it's time. Now go for it. <laughs> Two more rounds. Finish strong, right? We will see. Round number ten, of course. Nine minutes of action to decide this here, but will he pressure? Will he go for it? Will he seize the moment against the hard to find, hard to get Shakur Stevenson? Shakur just too tactically sound. Uh, he just, I mean, the skill is there. Making a miss like that, then he puts the pressure on him immediately, putting the mental pressure on De Los Santos. There it is, taking a risk. And Shakur again being sharp. Beautiful right hook right there from Shakur. Go back and watch the best of Edwin De Los Santos. You see power. You see a guy willing to exchange, willing to be aggressive, and it came up with a dynamic win in being that way. A fighter like this, a fighter who's laying back, when there is a skill gap like this, yeah. there's just no way you're going to accomplish the task. No, you're not going to accomplish the task. But I, like I said early on, I said, why isn't he attacking more? because of the punching power that he's feeling coming back from Shakur Stevenson. And the fact that he can't hit him. Beautiful work right there. This is beautiful boxing now. Now you're starting to see a little bit of urgency coming from De Los Santos, and he's making mistakes. These are small little mental mistakes he's making. Again, Shakur can do this all night long. 
He doesn't care. All he cares about is getting a win. That's it. Going home with the W. Another right hook. Cascade of boos for the lack of offense in this championship fight after these fans saw a thriller in the first championship fight. Okay? Start dropping it like it's hot on him, man. If you can get in there, drop it like it's hot. He ain't expecting it to come down. Every time I come in, he's grabbing. Okay, you know what? And the ref letting him. Okay, well, that's it. Let's go banana low from the outside. Okay. Okay? Nice banana hot, banana low from the outside. I just clearly took control of this shit. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're doing great, man. Listen, you locking on you and locking and doing what you're doing, okay? Keep hitting that motherfucker with that jab, and every time he miss, keep doing what you do. Keep picking your shot. You heard the instructions from his grandfather. Keep hitting him with the jab. And every time he misses, just do what you do. Second down. Championship rounds here, round number 11. The high total output of connected punches in this fight in a single round was the ninth round, and it was 12. 12 total connects. Shakur had nine. De Los Santos had three. Definitely Shakur, definitely, I believe, is taking over this fight. He might have won every single round thus far. But again, you said the high was the last round. But this right here is like what we call swimming without getting wet. Yes. And I know it's not crazy entertaining like the last, the first fight we saw on the night. But this is technical skill you, you're watching. And the reason for that is, is because he has a dangerous opponent in front of him. In De Los Santos. That still has punching power right now. But Dump. you see him now stepping a little bit more or committing with his punches a little bit more now because he feels De La Santos weakening a bit and he's making mistakes and he's not reacting like he was early on. Doubled up that right hook. moving faster than the ref. <laughs> just more of the same. Shakur just stepping back, getting out of range, then angling up. That's it. And getting himself back into the center of the ring. And then you see De Los Santos right there mentally becoming fatigued. He stepped back, a little frustrated because he can't hit him. De Los Santos has tried everything. And again, Shakur will leave it just like that. He doesn't care. You can see the frustration on his face. Oh, yeah. I, he kills you mentally, Tess. That's what he does. Shakur kills you mentally. Last round. 
Stevenson's daughter Leilani ringside watching daddy have an easy night with defensive prowess thank you back up back up back up back up 12th and final round vacant WBC lightweight championship on the line according to CompuBox neither fighter has had a single round with double digit connects Not a single round. Look, I don't have to say anything. The fans are going to talk. People are going to talk about this performance, I'm sure. They're going to be heavy on Shakur because everybody wants to be entertained. But I'm going to tell you right now. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop. Keep it clean, keep it clean. Now De Los Santos, maybe he'll go for broke here based on some of the body language we're seeing. That's a live dog right there still in the 12th round. That's a, he's still kicking, De Los Santos. He's still kicking. Those hands have still got lead in them. And that's why you're seeing Shakur. Beautiful. Combination from Shakur. Look at that. This one is one two combination the left landed flush from Stevenson. This is a boxing lesson right now. That's what you see in a boxing lesson. Mm. They will fire off and then get out of the way. Oh, there's a right shot. hand from De Los Santos who comes in against Shakur before wait, Stevenson wait, ties wait, up. Santos now is just trying to sell out. He's trying to land and punch anywhere again. He's swinging towards the head, Tess. He needs to go down to the body. And I'm sure De La Santos' excuse is, is that Shakur, again, didn't want to stand there. He didn't want to trade with them. He didn't want to fight. But the last time I checked, there's four corners in here and ropes around for a reason. That's to keep the fighters inside the ring. There's the frustration. There's the frustration. There's the frustration. Frustrated. <laughs> There's the frustration. So before we judge the boxer and say he didn't want to fight, what about De La Santos not being able to cut off the ring and trap Shakur to land that ball. Just outboxed them all night long. We'll hear from the judges when we return. Your favorite thing delivered right to your door means that you never have to stop doing your other favorite thing. Nailed it. Order McDelivery in the app. Discover different Black Friday deals at Target each week. deals you can't miss. Get low prices and early Black Friday deals at Target. 
Jameson, a famously smooth whiskey from a famously big family. Meet Jose, could be one of us. Even when he shows up uninvited, he's never empty handed. You see, he's nearly as smooth as our whiskey. Must be a Jameson. Everyone ready? Come now, dig in and enjoy. I'm coming! Every Thanksgiving has a bird. Ah! No, 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 no! Did you see what just came out of that? A surprise guest. What are you? And some things that don't go as planned. Yes! <gasps> no! Disney's Wish. Rated PG. Hey, thanks for not eating me, John. Don't mention it, Bambi. See it early this Saturday in theaters everywhere November 22nd. Getting him to brush is no longer a chore. The sink is overflowing onto the floor. Luckily, American Home Shield is there to fix or replace covered parts of appliances and home systems to help you stay on course and budget. Sign up today at AHS.com. It's one fantastic ride. The turbocharged, tech-inspired Kia Forte. Best two out of three. Kia, movement that inspires. Tommy John is for men who value themselves and their comfort, who want fabrics that are lightweight, breathable, and insanely soft, with stay-put waistbands that adapt for the perfect fit. 360-degree stretch prevents ride-up and supports any move you make. And mind-blowing innovations like our quick draw fly. We've also reinvented loungewear. Yeah, loungewear. You can trust our thousands of five-star reviews because Tommy John knows how comfortable you want to be. Go to TommyJohn.com now and get 20% off your first order with code TV20. Likewise, SVP. Edwin De Los Santos' offense wasn't so well. Only landed 13% against the world class defense of Shakur Stevenson. Let's hear what the judges had to say. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds here inside T Mobile Arena, we go to the judges' scorecards for the Bud Light celebration decision. David Sutherland scores the bout 115 113. Tim Cheatham and Steve Weisfeld both have it 116-112 for your winner by unanimous decision. And now the WBC lightweight champion of the world, Shakur Stevenson! Shakur Stevenson never landed double digits connects in a single round, but does Santos offensively. 